All right, what's up everyone? Mark Carson here from the Performance Lab of California, and I'm gonna make a new video today. It's gonna to be an in-home sprint workout. Um, I tried to set this up the best that I can from like a, a college dorm room perspective in terms of how much space I felt like I had um, when I would work out with, inside of my college dorm. So I figured that most of you guys probably have about this much space. I'm not gonna really use very much equipment. Um, I have this mat down just because, um, you know, I have a pretty hard floor. I have uh, this, and I'm gonna use this for like ankle, single leg squat type exercises, but it could easily be um, some type of textbook or something like that. And then I obviously have this chair here. Uh, just needs to be a stable chair. These are all things that I feel like um, you should be able to get. So we'll go ahead and hop right into the workout. So. First thing that um, you know, I feel like is going to be most important to do is to utilize the wall. Um, and from the wall, what we'll first do is just do like a, a three-step um, alternate with the uh, wall drill. So we'll start here, and then it'll just be three steps. One, two, three. Okay. And then as I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on where my toe position is, and also trying to create as much force on each one of the steps in, in through the balls of my feet. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just get the, the um, overall stroke rate down. I'm going to move this mat out a little, little bit so that I can go right into um, my next one, where I'll go single leg, rear foot elevated foot squat. So I'll go with my one, one foot down. When we're doing this, um, and I'm coming up and through. I just want to make sure to get my hip all the way through on each one of these reps. Boom. Get my hip all the way through. I'm actually even kind of moving the chair a little bit as I'm driving that hip through. Okay, and then I'll go right into a single leg jump. So I'll go here. Okay, just gonna try to keep it as dynamic as I can. Constantly gonna create some change within the workout. Okay, and the idea for that's gonna be really light, so I would almost prefer you to be on like a second story or something like that, um, just because now you really have to concentrate on being nice and quiet as you're actually going through. Okay, next thing I'm just gonna go through is gonna be a split jump. Okay, so we'll go here, start in the lunge position, and just go here, and jump. Trying to get as vertical as I can. Hook my arms nice and smooth. Okay, get those hips going a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna go with my foot down up here, toe down, or toe up on, on the uh, um, book if you want to put it like that. Okay, I'm just gonna work on my ankle range of motion, squat down, coming back up. This one should feel pretty difficult to control your balance. Both sides, I'm big on making sure that your feet are nice and controlled. Can't go into too much of pronation or supination, so I'm just trying to make sure that my feet stay as straight as I possibly can. On this left side, I have a harder time controlling that pronation. I'm really working on that. Do an extra up on this side to really focus on it. Boom. Okay, then I'm going to go back up against the wall, and from there I'm just going to go work on some calf raises. Normally I'd say we do 20 of these, but for this we'll just do like 10. Really working on getting up on my toe on this one. I get the Make sure you end up on that toe, work on that toe range of motion. Then we're here, and now I'm just going to go um, runs against the wall. Okay, so I'm going to go with one foot up in front. Now I'm just going to go for, let's say, 30, 30 strides. Okay, when I'm doing that, I really want to focus on landing with my foot right underneath my hip and really. And controlling my quarter made so my legs are cycling or, or moving as fast as I possibly can. And I also want to keep my feet uh, or my spine somewhat taller. I don't want to be too, too far leaned over here. Especially if you get tired, you don't want to like lean over. You got to keep that posture 
really upright when you're doing this, and you're not going to have another 30. Okay. I'm going to go here, back with the, the uh, chair, got one leg down, driving my hips all the way up and through, I'm really pushing my heel down to get my hips up. This is really good for your hamstrings. All right, and then I'll go right from that into a exercise for my hips. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna go here. And I'm going to drop all the way up. Hold it for a few seconds, keep that toe up. Really trying to keep my back straight on this one as well. Okay, and big thing is, I would say, some of you guys are getting pretty tired already. Um, big part of that has to do with your sprinting speed is your actual ability to uh, have good cardio, okay? It's hard to be able to do it. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold this. I'm going to balance with my, uh, with that textbook up on there. I really want to let my toes relax so I can balance it. I'm really trying to straighten out my hamstrings here. I've been working out the last couple days. So my hamstrings are really, really sore. Just controlling the breathing, working my core, working my range of motion. Now I'm going to go opposite arm opposite leg. All right, now I'm going to go right into the triple traps, so I'm going to keep on working my core here. I'm going to go here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Knocking out a solid 10 of those, and I'll go right into bicycles here. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna go into some Supermans. Make sure I'm still in the view of the camera here. Really just trying to work that range through my hips here. Make sure you're getting your, your back leg all the way up, and then I'm going to go double. And then I'm going to go from that right into rolling planks. So I'll go here, roll onto the other side. Probably, probably going to do more core than what I'm currently doing right now. And probably add more stuff for you guys to do. I just want to make it so you're not uh, having to watch too much of this video. I'm just watching me kind of work out. I'll probably do this for like 60 seconds all together. And then go right and do a plank. Hold that again for another 60 seconds. Hold it for like maybe 20 right now. Big thing that you definitely have to be able to develop if you're going to be faster as a sprinter is going to be your core. So, if you don't have the core strength, it's going to make it all a lot more difficult. Okay, then I'll go into my hands and I'll just go opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Keep your feet a little bit more wide when you're doing these. While going here. So the next thing what I would do is just go right into like a wall hold. Okay, so I'm here and I'm just gonna bring my leg up, cycle through, work on my cycles a little bit. Knock out a quick little 15. This goes from here. I'm going to go into some. Tuck 
jumps. I want to be able to feel that cycle. Okay, so now I'm going to be here, knocking out some duck jumps. Okay, want to be pretty even on these. You can see on that uh, my left side, I'm a little bit slower in my transition, so I really want to be able to work on evening out that out the best I can. Really controlling my breathing here too. Obviously, doing this video and talking, I could be very, you know, I could end up losing my ability to breathe. But being able to focus on the exhale, inhale makes it so I can kind of keep going and something that's really important when you're running as well. And I'm just trying to get my heel up to my butt as fast as I can as I'm just transitioning out of each one of those reps. Okay, I might come out of the screen a little bit on this one. We're gonna go on the step ups. Okay, if you almost have like only a bed that you're stepping up onto, it might even be better, you know, even this, just because now I really have to control my ankle as I'm coming up and through. If you're doing this at home, obviously we're trying to do this for a sweat. But some of you guys might be, well, you know, this isn't a very fast twitch muscle fiber stuff. And there are things like those tuck jumps, like the wall runs, uh, you know, whenever we're doing on the single leg jumps with my foot up on the uh, chair. Those things are obviously more plyometric, more highly explosive. These are things where there is going to be just being able to get full tri triple extension here, hips, knee, um, control the foot all at the same time. This isn't really basing trying to develop your uh, your overall strength uh, or your, your power. This one's more to develop your overall strength and running mechanics. Okay, and we'll go back into a wall drill. So now I'm gonna go more with my spine, a little more upright, really trying to push down to the, uh, to the wall here resembling a little bit more of the start, okay? And in terms of what the order you do this in, you could do this one more at the beginning to replicate the start, um, or you could do it at the end. We're just trying to get some work in here. You know, this for people that don't really have the ability to get to a gym, uh, we're getting work in, right? We're, getting, we're moving towards being faster sprinters. Drive that knee up, okay? One, two, three. Drive that knee up, one, two, three. Try to keep length in the spine. Try to land with that leg straight. And now from here, I'm just going to go in. Again, this is really killing you. Okay. I'd first say definitely join our program because the workouts we have in the program will be a lot harder. The other thing is you got to be able to build up, build yourself up a little bit more. I'm going to be a top sprinter. Okay, now I'm going to knock out the heel. I'm definitely sweating. I don't want to make it seem like this is just an easy workout for me. Okay, now I'm going to go back into some core workout here. We're saying, get these feet up, get the toes facing towards me, and then I'm going to go with a scissor with my legs, okay? And while I'm doing the scissor, I'm going to also touch. touch. Okay, then I'm going to go with my feet, straight scissors off the ground, harder kick. Whew. That's 
good one there. Good? Better for that position, I'm just going to go with my with both legs straight up. And you go side to side. Just keeping my shoulders down. Feeling up my hips. Feeling up my side core. Just doing these nice windshield wipers. I like these to open up the spine. And then we go here, work on my hips. If you have a band for this too, that's always good. Gives you way more options if you have a band. extension and it helps you in being able to control your spine really good get the range of motion through the hip and not through the spine I'm really locking in my lower core okay I'm gonna go here yeah I'm trying to keep everything as long as I can reaching up with the leg Bend too much on the spine, side. Okay, just make sure you're really locking in there, you're not compensating too much. I'm gonna go back. This one again. This thing, developing your hamstrings is so important. I've seen tremendous improvements in my speed but working on my hamstrings. So, you know, stretching them and working them just makes you have more power, more mobility, more comfortability when you're running. Drive through the heels. Let me go land on my stomach here. An arm opposite leg, working on that mobility through my hip flexors now. Okay, then we go back on this and do some light ankle jumps. Just want to give you guys a whole bunch of different exercises you can even choose from. All right, so this video can really help you and give you a lot of different options. Okay, so I'm just gonna go 20, 20 as fast as I can steps here. So I'm here and working on my posture there. I don't want to end up too long over. I want to be really upright, get my knees up to my my hips. Alright, and then I'm just driving down fast. Keep my arms long. Okay, you're not gonna be able to open up as much. That's fine. I really work just working on Getting that uh, that fist fast switch muscle fiber, so I'm gonna do one more of these. Really trying to stay upright. Now we're just gonna work on some light good mornings here, sitting back, coming up and through. Just working on my hinging, keep my back nice and extended, stretching out that whole back line. Be the last one that I'll do here. You do 30 of these though, really not overdo it. It's basically like doing a deadlift. Just really work on a hip extension, giving yourself plenty of room. You'll get those hips back, run back forward and through. I'm going to do a yoga workout after this, so I'm going to definitely be nice and warmed up for that. I highly recommend. You need sprinters to be doing yoga at least once a week. Keep yourself nice and 
open to mobile and see way too many just super stiff sprinters as need to be stretching more. All right, so uh, that's quick. I don't even know how long that was. That might have been 15, 20 minutes. I'll probably edit it down. Uh, but really quick, just wanted to run through a few workouts for you help you on developing your sprint. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, you could subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.